In this video, we provide the solution to question number 10 for practice exam number three for math 1060, in which case we're asked to find all the solutions to the equation cosine theta minus two sine theta cosine theta equals zero. We want to find these on the interval zero to two pi, so we're going to be solving this in radians. When I look at this equation, the first thing I notice is the right-hand side is zero, so maybe I could factor the left-hand side. The left-hand side, there is a common divisor of cosine theta, so factor that out. This gives us cosine theta times one minus two sine theta is equal to zero. So we can set each factor equal to zero. You get cosine theta equals zero, and we get one minus two sine theta equals zero. So solving these, the first one's basically already there. Uh, cosine theta equals zero. When does cosine equal zero? That happens at the top of the unit circle and the bottom of the unit circle. So we're going to end up with theta equals pi halves and three pi halves from that one. We only have to find solutions up to two pi, so I can I don't need anything else. I don't need like a two uh, plus two pi k or anything like that. For the second one, subtract one from both sides. We get negative two sine theta equals negative one. Divide both sides by negative two. We get sine theta is equal to one half. When does, co when does sine equal one half? That'll happen in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. In the first quadrant, that'll happen at pi sixth. In the second quadrant, that'll happen at the angle which references pi sixth, which of course is pi take away pi sixth. Uh, in other words, you get phi pi sixth, like so. And so when we put all these solutions together, we get the final answer. We're gonna get pi sixth, pi halves, five pi sixth, and then three pi sixth. So there are three pi halves, excuse me. There are four solutions to this equation here.